Hi, welcome back to the NCTV editing tutorial for Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud. In this lesson, we're just going to show you how to export what you've done. Um, there's all different kinds of codecs and settings that you might want to export to, whether it's for web or TV or whatever, and um, we're just going to show you how to go about doing that. First off, we're going to show you how to export just your audio. There are situations where you might just want your audio track, so this is how you do that. You're going to want to set an in point and an out point on your timeline. So let's just say we want all of this audio that we have here from, from this point to here. Um, and so when you, you drag your playhead all the way to the beginning and you press the letter I. And that, you can see, has turned all of this light gray. And then you go to the end. If you go past your timeline and you press up on your arrow key, it'll go to your last clip. And then I'm going to press O for out. So I set my in point with I. I set my out point with O, and now you'll see that this part's highlighted. And we make sure nothing's muted, uh, everything's visible or whatever if we were doing video, but you know, just make sure the settings are all good from this end, and then you go to File, Export, Media. The hotkey for that is Command-M, and this dialog box comes up. There's a lot of stuff here, let's just take it step by step. If you go to the format here, we're going to go to AIF. That's because I'm just going to export my audio as AIF. You can do it as AAC, you can do it as uh, waveform, but we'll just do AIF for this. Um, 48 kilohertz is fine. Right here on the output name, this is where you say where you want it to, to save to. So I would say tutorial and I underscore sound. And then I click save and make sure that it's going to the right spot. You can see that this only has export audio checked. We typically like to use 24-bit sample size here. And then right here is really important. Sometimes this is on entire sequence, but we want it on sequence in to out because we set our in point and our out point. From there, you just click export. That will give us an audio track, which we can bring in and manipulate. Maybe you want to export just the microphone audio, make sure all those levels are good, and then add crowd noise afterwards or something like that. Um, this would allow you to just work with the audio as one track. Once that finishes, we'll go into our folder. And here it is. And just drag and drop it in. And there you go, you see it here as a, as a track. And, and there we go, there's our export. Now we're gonna do the same method for the whole project. Say the video is done completely. We've done our ins and outs already. And then you just do Command M. We get our dialog box and if we want to export it in its best quality, this was shot in um, 1080p30. So we just go to custom. It'll default to custom if you change any of these. But um, So that's our audio, you can see. But in our video, Apple ProRes high quality, that's um, about as good as we need it. Uh, we shot at a lower format than that anyways, so that'll be plenty for us. Uh, 1920 by 1080, that's what we want to make sure. And then um, the frame rate. We shot 29.97, field order progressive. Um, sometimes if you select something, it might default to upper first, which is like an interlace setting. So you want to make sure you get everything. You just check everything to make sure it fits what you're looking for. Um, sequence into out. And then we would click here and you know save it in here. Um, and it, you can see the extension, the extension changed to a .mov because we're doing a ProRes QuickTime file, um, but you know, as you can see, you can you can export to all different kinds of things. And then we would just click export if we wanted to have a high resolution version of the video. But say you're exporting for web, you know, maybe you want to put it on your website or whatever. Um, I would still go to QuickTime. You can go to H.264 here, but if you go to QuickTime, you can also see that once you go into the video codec, you can click H.264 here as well. Um, so that's what we use for web compression. Um, and then you go down the line, you check your same settings, and it should be pretty good. Um, you can adjust your bit rate uh, for different file sizes and stuff like that. Um, and Premiere is really good about telling you how big the file is going to be when you're done. So maybe you only have, you know, five gigs of storage on, on Vimeo or something like that. You can make sure that you're under that before you export uh, to save yourself some time. And um, then you just click export, and uh, it'll start the process. And that's how to export your video. So hopefully you found this helpful, and we'll see you again on our next tutorial.